What is going on everybody, Zionic here. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering Gen 5 as the movesets have been released. So we do know what the Pokemon will have. So we're gonna dive over onto pvpoke.com. We're gonna check out the rankings and how all these Pokemon will do. And it's gonna shake up the meta guys. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest Pokemon Go PVP content. Without further ado, let's dive right into Pokemon Go Gen 5. All right, guys, diving right into Gen 5, there are a few Pokemon that stand out to be phenomenal for the Great League for PvP because of their bulk and their movesets, guys. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Stunfisk. Stunfisk has access to Thundershock, Discharge, Mud Bomb, and Muddy Water. So... This thing is going to spam, and if you guys take a look at its bulk, 169 stamina, 126 defense, this thing will be able to stand up to a lot. Now, looking at its weaknesses, it's going to be weak to water, grass, ice, and ground, so there are quite a few things that can beat it, but I want you guys to just look at, if we go to the single battle, we're going to fight it against three of the staple Pokemon in the meta. First off, Skarmory. Let's take a look at that. Wow, it deletes Skarmory. Now let's take a look at Bastiodon, right? Another big meta Pokemon. It deletes Bastiodon. <laughs> now let's take a look at Azumarill. Now specifically Azumarill without Hydro Pump. Let's give it Play Rough. It beats Azumarill. So this thing is an absolute monster. Yes, you have to watch out for grass users with the razor leaf and all that. You got to watch out for hydro cannons. There's a lot it's weak to, but if you line it up right, this thing has the bulk to take down super meta Pokemon, as we see there. Um, and if we go into a multi battle versus all Pokemon, no shields in play, let's go ahead and sim it. It's going to beat 61% of the meta, it's 230 Pokemon. As we look down, you'll notice, all right, so we got Razor Leafers, we got Quagsire, you know, a lot of Razor Leafers, a lot of Grass Users. So obviously building around it, man, this thing is looking like a monster. So hopefully it's not going to be a regional and we will all have access to it. Otherwise, it's going to be another Tropius kind of situation, but let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, moving on to the next Pokemon, which is personally my favorite for Gen 5 coming out here. That's going to be Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz, guys, has a move set and a half. First of all, let's look at his bulk, right? 147 defense, 176 stamina. This thing is thick, super thick. Now, if we look at its fast moves, Air Slash and Snarl. So two really good options for high damage and high energy per turn. And then let's look at his charge moves. It's got Foul Play, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, and Sky Attack. So you can cover a lot of things. Now, looking at its weaknesses, it's going to be weak to Electric, Fairy, Ice, and Rock. It's a given. It's a flying Pokemon and a dark Pokemon. So you're going to have those flying weaknesses and then the Fairy for the dark um, but it's going to have some good resistances as we see there. Now let's sim it against the meta here. All right. So it's got a 79.3% win rate. That is just ridiculous. And the things that beat it are like, you know, Togekiss, Wigglytuff, Bastiodon. Kind of makes sense. Smackdown and Charm, right? But I want to show you guys something. If we go to Silph Arena Season 1 and we go to the Nightmare Cup, guys... Let's sim this. Look at that. 94% win rate in the Nightmare Cup. The only things that beat it is a Tyranitar, a Sneasel, a Weavile, and an Alolan Raticate. Other than that, this thing destroys everything in zero shields. So, Mandibuzz is coming, guys, and he is an absolute beast. Again, let's hope that it is not a regional. Let's hope that it is available for everyone because this is going to be a fantastic Pokemon for Pokemon Go PvP. So let's move on to the final Pokemon, which is going to be Scrafty. Scrafty, um, having another user, I guess, as Power-Up Punch. So it's going to have Counter and Power-Up Punch. 
It's going to have some decent bulk with some decent attacks. We got 152 defense, 117 stamina. So a lot higher on the defense, a little lower on the stamina. But the moveset is solid, guys. Counter, power-up punch, foul play. We also have acid spray, which is really interesting because I don't think it has the bulk and longevity to actually use it to its full extent of getting a couple power-up punches, acid spraying something, and then just basically one-tapping it. Um, but it's there. Uh, so ideally probably power up punch foul play is going to be one what you want to go for Let's go ahead and sim it against the meta as we see here 71.4% win rate and this is against everything in great league everything is fair play um, It's gonna lose hard to the charm users as we see there heading over to its weaknesses Four times weak to fairy guys. So charm. It's basically the equivalent of confusion to fighters charm to to um, Scrafty here. It's also going to be weak to fighting. So in the mirrors against fighting Pokemon, not going to do good. It's also weak to flying. So it's got some really key weaknesses. But in the right situation, this guy is going to be an absolute monster. Another power-up punch user to have on your team. Now, next up, guys, we have a Pokemon called Jelly Scent, and it has amazing bulk as well. 121 defense, 157 stamina. It's got a decent moveset, Bubble, Bubble Beam, Shadow Ball, and also has access to Ice Beam as well as we see here. So this thing is bulky, has great coverages, and can get energy up quickly. So let's go ahead and see how it does against the meta as a whole. It's got a 63.7% win rate. So that is huge. It's does very well against majority of Pokemon obviously gonna be having some counters if we take a look at its weaknesses It's gonna be weak to dark electric ghost and grass. So a lot of different types in there um, So it'll all depend on what cup this Pokemon is gonna be in but it could do very very well Now the last one is going to be I'm gonna pronounce this Zuelios Zelios, you guys can correct me. This is not a Medicham, Medichan moment. I just, I don't know. Gen 5, I missed out on Gen 5 as a kid, so this is all kind of new to me. But what I'm liking here, guys, it's got some decent stats. Higher attack, 108 defense, 139 stamina, but it's got Dragon Breath and Body Slam, which is really interesting. So you're going to be hitting really hard with Dragon Breath. Getting to Body Slam and Body Slam spamming as well. It's also got Dark Pulse and Dragon Pulse as well as options. But let's take a look at how it does against the meta. So 69.8% win rate. Again, right up there with the top contenders. Having huge wins against a lot of meta Pokemon. But the big thing is it's going to lose hard to Charm, guys. Remember, it's Dark Dragon. So it's going to be four times weak to fairy and if you guys haven't noticed a theme fairy moves are going to become huge when gen 5 drops which means charm users are going to become very more prevalent so wigglytuff um, togekiss these guys are going to be needed to take down some of these big meta gen 5 pokemon it's also going to be weak to bug dragon fighting and ice makes sense but it has a lot of really nice resistances there a good amount of resistances and a great move set as well so yeah this is gen 5 guys it is coming you guys need to be prepared this is gonna be a lot of stardust to drop so as I was recording this guys PV poke dropped an image on Twitter I'm gonna put it up over here for you guys to look at but there is a mix-up in the meta as you guys can see there has been a lot of Pokemon that have gone down in ranking because Scrafty and Mandibuzz have taken number two and three slot. Altaria is still number one up there for good reason. It is amazing. But Scrafty and Mandibuzz, guys, you guys are definitely going to want to go and find them, farm them, trade them, get the good PvP IVs because our dust is now going to go into these guys. And as well, if we take a look going down the list, Jelly Scent is in there at number 13, Zuelios at 16, and Stunfisk at 22. So these Pokemon are going to be very relevant, guys. I hope you guys saved your Stardust because Gen 5 is here and I want to go on a spending spree. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys found it informative. So be sure to smash that like button and comment down below and let me know what Pokemon you guys are most 
looking forward to for Gen 5 coming out soon. And also don't forget guys, Season 2 is starting soon. We are in close range for the two week threshold that the Silverina likes to announce for the new cup. So sometime next week, we may see the new cup drop. So be prepared for that. And I hope you guys have been saving your Stardust because we got the new cup and we have Gen 5 coming. So there's a lot of Stardust to be spent. And don't forget, Turtwig on Sunday is going to be three times Stardust. So be sure to be out there farming because you can get a few or a couple hundred thousand, I believe, if you go hard on Sunday. So like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.